Right everybody, welcome back to another video. This is M6IQJ. Now for today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a repeater to the Yaesu's H57D memory. Now the one we're going after, or I'm going after for this video, is GB3VH, the local repeater at Welling Garden City. And it receives on 433325, 434.95 is its transmit frequency, has a plus 1.6 offset and an 82.5 hertz tone. So how do I go about entering that into this radio? Well, the first thing we need to do is make sure it's on either VFO A or B, and it's on VFO B. And using the buttons at the top here, I'm gonna keep going, skipping through till I get to 77's band, so that's 432. So now I need to enter in 433325. So I'm gonna uh, use the select button, just to scroll through a bit quicker. And I wanna go 433, so. There we go, 433325. And now I need to go into the menu button. So I press and hold the function. And menu number 83 is T. This is Tone Squelch. And we want to put that to 82.5. So use a dial. 2.5. Now using the select button here, we're going to go back and we want number 76. Menu 76. Where we've got repeater shift. And at the moment it's on 0000. zero, zero, zero. So I'm going to um, push, the, push the select button in, and the zero flashes, and it's going to flash as one. Now I need to change that to six, 1.6, using the bigger dial. Okay, so at the moment it's got 1.6 offset. Press another function button to come out of it. Now I need to just push the function button once. And at the bottom there you'll see it says MFA. So I need to scroll through using the select button again. So it says RPT. So that's MFA uh, D. So I'm going to push repeat. And at the top there it says minus. Push it again it says plus. So there's our plus frequency. Now almost done. Press the function button again. For some reason I have to go to TON. So menu E, so I'm going to push it as 10. So when we key up on the repeater, that should change to 434.9345, if you've got it right. You can see I've got signal come back in from the repeater. So how do I go about adding that into its memory and calling it a name? So again, we're going to go push the function button once. We're going to go through, we should see, Menu B, memory right, push the A button. And I've already got it in there, but I'll do it as number 27. So using select. Go to 28. And then push that on. Memory right. And it's saying channel 28. And now we can call it what we want by using the keys here. So G, using the, the, um, the dial. G. Using the select button, we're going to go forward. B. Three. And V. And then GB3 VH. There we go. And we're going to push MW again. That's now stored in. Now, how do we access the, men uh, the menu, or the memory, sorry? The button at the side here will let us get in there. So you push the button at the side, top button at the side here. You see men menu 28 is what I've just added, GB3VH. So that the menu one on mine is two meter call. The 70 sems call, so I'll go 28. So that's Golf Bravo 3, Victor Hotel. Give it a bit of volume. Thanks for watching, give it a bit, bit of volume. And we'll test the repeater access. M6 IQJ, M6 IQJ, testing repeater access for Golf Bravo 3 Victor Hotel. There you go, you can hear it. Yeah, M6 IQJ, just stand by there a bit, bit, Robert, I'll be back in a sec. Right, so we got into the repeater. 
Right, that was how to program a repeater and add it to its memory on the radio. Thank you very much for watching. I've been M6IQJ. Till next time, I'll catch you soon. Cheers and beers, and thank you ever so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers and beers. Bye, bye, bye.